Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marisol and I'll be your Pilates instructor for today. And in today's class, we're gonna do an intermediate level style class using an exercise ball. Now, if you don't have one of these handy nifty little balls, um, you can grab a small couch pillow, just something uh, squishy, and you'll, you'll see throughout the class why, but um, it's only gonna be for abdominal series, a little bit of bridge work, and a little bit in the warm up. After that, you won't really need it, so feel free to take the class anyway, regardless if you have one of these guys or not. I do also wanna mention that I offer free online classes. You can check the description box down below to book yourself, schedule in uh, that time for you. They are 50 minute full length classes versus these kind of shorter condensed classes. And I will be launching my virtual studio in June, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and let's get started with your class. So we're going to start standing. We're going to place uh, the little blueberry ball in between the inner thighs. And then from here, we're going to inhale to prepare. Exhale, tuck the chin, pull those abs in. Slowly start to roll down one vertebrae at a time. Really get a stretch in that spine and the backside of the body. Inhale at the bottom, keep the weight forward on the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, tuck the tailbone, slowly curl on up one vertebrae at a time. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. And again, inhale to prepare. Exhale, tuck the chin, pull those abs in, round the shoulders forward and down. Stretch yourself down to the floor as much as you can. Inhale, exhale, bend those knees, tuck the tailbone, slowly curl on up, keep the weight above the toes. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. Beautiful, guys. And let's keep the ball right where it is. Instead, we're gonna reach those arms forward, bend the knees, lower those hips down, and come back up to standing. And lower, lift, and lower, lift. If you see my curtain move, it's just because my windows are open. It's a little hot here in SoCal. And as we lower and lift, make sure that the weight is back onto your heels. You might notice that my my tips of my toes are lifted and that's just to ensure that my weight is established back so that I can feel a deeper engagement in my hamstrings, in my low abdominals this way. Try not to arch that low back. Try not to flare those ribs forward as you lower down and up from your squats here. Let's go for five. Keep those knees in line with the hips. Four, three, two, one, hold this position down here. Just the arms are going to lift and lower, lift and lower using those shoulder extensors, using the postural muscles so that we can lift the arms without pitching the chin forward. Keep the weight on your heels. Feel those hamstrings activate, those glutes activate, those low abs activate. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one, and come all the way up, rest your arms down. Nice guys, from here, let's move on down and onto the mat. Okay, so once we're seated on the mat, knees bent, hip width distance apart, we're gonna place that blue ball in between those inner thighs. So a little bit closer to your hips instead of your knees. Reach those arms forward, you can lengthen those feet a little bit further away. Exhale, pull the waist back, squeeze that ball so we really get the pelvic floor muscles active and slowly start to roll on down, reach those arms up and overhead, inhale. Exhale, slowly roll on up. One vertebrae at a time. Now when you roll up, when you roll down, give that ball a little bit of a squeeze so you can feel how those low abs start to work. As you lift. And as you lower, pulling the waist back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lift. Good, let's go for three. Last two. Last one. 
and rest your arms down by your sides. Let's slide those feet closer to your hips. Pause, hold it here. Good, so we still have a little bit of a squeeze on that ball. Again, engaging the inner thighs today is gonna be really important. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, pull the waist and slowly lift those hips up towards the ceiling. One vertebrae at a time and lower down. Inhale, exhale, pull the abs in, tuck the tailbone, lift up. Now as you're doing this, I want you to give that ball a little bit of a squeeze, just a light one, when you're coming down. Usually, when we're coming up and down from a bridge, the inner thighs are the first thing to relax, and they're the first things to disengage. So, as you do this movement, I really want you to think inner thighs are working, pelvic floor muscles are lifted, abs are pulled in, let's go for three. Also, ask yourself if your hands are pressing into the floor as you do this. Last two. Last one. Hold it up at the top. Hold it here. Beautiful, guys. Now from here, let's exhale, squeeze that blue ball with our inner thighs. Little pulse in, little pulse out. And in, out, in, out. Press the arms down by your sides. Activate the deep back muscles as we're in this position, giving your back that little bit of support squeezing those glutes, using those hamstrings, and now, of course, the inner thighs. Let's go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and slowly start to lower down, one vertebrae at a time. Beautiful, guys. Now, let's take that ball. We're going to bring those legs a little closer together. The ball, however, we're gonna tuck right underneath that left knee, hands again, pressing down by your sides. Inhale to prepare, exhale, tuck the tailbone, pull those abs in, lift those hips up. Keep that left knee bent 90 degree angle, hold it there. Now, as we keep that knee bent, we're gonna lower it down, maybe touching the floor, maybe not, your choice, and lift. Lower down and lift. Press that left hand into the floor as you lower and lift. Let's go for five. Last four. Three. Two. One. Lift that leg and slowly lower back down. Nice, guys. From here, take that ball, place it underneath the right knee. Same thing. Hands down by your sides. Left foot is stable into the mat. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, lift those hips. Pause, hold at the top. And from this position, we're gonna lower that leg down. Exhale, lift, and down, and lift. You guys got this. Keep those hips parallel, even to each other. Lift it off of the floor, and again, we're just making sure that our hands are pressing into the mat. That's gonna give your back some more support. Using your breath, breathing deeply here. Remember, lateral breath. Let's go for five. Last four, three, two, one. Keep that leg up and slowly start to lower down. Nice, guys. From here, let's take that ball. We're gonna place it in between those inner thighs. Inhale, reach those arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, press the arms down, lift the chest. Going into your chest lift, pause, hold it here. Now we're gonna exhale, bring those legs up to tabletop. You can keep your arms here. You can bring your hands behind your head. Either one is fine. I prefer my arms forward. You're gonna lower those toes, tap the mat, squeeze those inner thighs, and lift. Good, let's go for five. Just getting those abs warmed up. Four. Three. Two. One, and lift the legs. Take the ball, squeeze those inner thighs. Let's balance the ball in the center of your chins, of your shins, not in the middle of your shins, right on top and over the center part. Good. Now from here, let that ball balance a little bit. Bring the hands behind your head, lower down, inhale. Exhale, lift the chest. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. 
Now you want this to kind of test that 90 degree angle that you should have in your legs, but it's also a really good abdominal challenge to try to balance that over the shins and not let it wobble forward and back too much. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Hold this position. Bring the legs up a little bit. The ball is gonna roll towards you and you're gonna hug the knees into the chest. Hold this little ball shape as much as you can. When you're ready, we're gonna inhale, stretch the arms and legs away from each other. Exhale, pull in. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, pull in. And let's continue. For 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one, and bring it all the way in. Really great job, guys. Now for the next one, let's place the ball in between both of those ankles. You can reach those arms forward again. You can rest the upper body down on the floor. Either one is fine with me. I'm going to lift my chest and reach those arms forward. And at the same time, I'm also going to lengthen those legs to make it more challenging. You can always bend the knees if you need to. From here, pump those arms one inch up, one inch down as we go into our hundred, squeezing that ball. And inhale, two, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. And inhale, two, three, four, five. And exhale. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. And exhale. And inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. And exhale. And inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. And exhale, two more sets. And inhale, two, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. And inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. And hug the knees in. Grab that ball and rest all the way down. Whew. Nice, guys. Now, from this position, let's go ahead and go on to our sides. Well, you can put the ball somewhere nearby. We're probably gonna use it again anyway. Now the bottom elbow is going to bend and we're gonna rest the head right on top of those hands. Both legs are gonna stretch out nice and long and you want a little bit of a curve to the body, kind of like we're trying to mimic a banana shape. Now from here, the top hand could go down on the floor, up on your hips or behind your head for the most challenge. Wherever you choose, let's go ahead and exhale, lift that top leg about hip height, maybe a little bit higher. And then from here, Flex that foot, reach that leg forward, and then we're gonna exhale again, pull that leg back, pointing the toe, and then squeezing the glute as that leg pulls back. Now, I don't want you to do this type of a movement with your hip, right? Hip stability is what we want. So flex the foot, reach that leg forward. Exhale, pull it back. Nice, everyone. Inhale, reach that leg forward, flex the foot, and pull it back. If reaching the foot all the way forward is what's causing you to go unbalanced, please feel free to only take that foot as far as you can. So just a few inches forward is fine, and then a few inches back is fine too, all right? So listen to your body. Remember, the one thing we want here is we want control over our body. After that, it's a lot easier to strengthen it, but control, stability, that's what you want first. Let's keep it going, guys. We've got it. Now, your hip abductors are working here. The outer thighs on the bottom leg, the outer thighs on the top leg. The bottom leg is actually pressing into the floor as the top leg tries to navigate gate its way forward and back while keeping some stability in the hips and keeping that leg lifted about hip height. So the outer thighs of the top leg are working. Abs are working here too, and then try not to let that top elbow go too far forward. Remember, we're not trying to balance out with the elbow. We're actually trying to challenge ourselves by keeping that elbow in that position. Let's go for three. Last two. Last one. 
and bring it in line with the rest of your body. And from here, let's rotate the knee up towards the ceiling and external rotation as much as you can. J again, listen to your body. Exhale, lift that leg up towards the ceiling and slowly control that leg down. <sighs> Exhale, lift. Don't kick it up, lift it up and slowly lower down. Now we are in a little bit of a lateral flexion because our waist is pressing down. It's not lifted off of the mat and we're also adding this leg lift on top of that. So your obliques are working. You guys got it, let's keep it going. We got this, we got this. Remember, we're breathing deeply. We're trying to find some stability here and it's gonna be different on each side too. Let's go for four. Last three. Get that leg a little longer. Two. And one. Lower down hip height. We're not done here yet, guys. Let's draw small little circles towards the back with that top leg. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and reverse. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, don't drop that leg, seven, six, get it a little longer, five, four, three, two, one, and lower that leg down. Great job, guys. Now from here, let's go onto our backs. We're gonna roll up into teaser before we go on to the other side. So hands down by your sides, legs are lengthened. Ooh, actually, you know what? Grab that ball, place it in between the ankles, and extend those legs out long. All right, now from here, inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift the chest, lift the arms, lift the legs, creating a letter V. Little teaser position, squeeze those inner thighs by squeezing that ball a little bit. Lower down with control. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, fold up the hips. Lift upper, upper and lower body. Now as you go down, imagine the back, the muscles in the back side of the body cradling your body, contracting to slowly lower you down. And let's try that again. Exhale, lift. Good, 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 hold, hold, balance on your sits bones, and then slowly feel those back body muscles working as you slowly come down. And again, inhale, exhale, lift, squeeze those inner thighs, squeeze that ball, and lower, one last one, guys, one last one, inhale, exhale, lift, hold it here for five, four, three, two, one, and lower down. Nice, guys. From here, let's go over to our opposite side. So ball in front of the body or somewhere nearby. Lay all the way down, bottom arm supporting the head, both legs extended, top arm behind the head as well. And when you're ready in that banana shape, pick that top leg up. We're gonna hold it here, flex the foot, reach that leg forward, point the toe as you pull it back, squeeze the top glute forward as you pull it back squeeze that top glute what that squeeze is going to do is it's going to first of all pull your leg back but it's also going to control your hips so that we're not moving around all the time flex forward exhale back flex forward exhale back flex forward exhale back flex forward Exhale back, flex forward, exhale back, let's go for five, last four, three, two, The last one, hold it here. Now let's go into that external rotation of that top leg. And when you're ready, we're gonna exhale, slowly control that leg up and slowly bring it down. 
try to get that leg a little longer both legs actually both legs can do with a little bit of length as you lower and lift lower lift good guys let's keep it going lowering with control we're not just kicking that leg up we're lifting it up let's go for five last four three two really get that deep breathing in there last one slowly lower it down hip height and remember we're not done here yet we're gonna draw small little circles towards the back you guys got it keep the breath going keep those abs pulled in remember your obliques are working hard your outer thighs glutes are working hard here let's go for five four three two one and reverse let's go for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one and lower it down great job guys all right from here since we're already on our sides, let's go ahead and flip down on prone position or onto our bellies. From here, I'm actually gonna scoot back so I'm not completely in the sun, but I'm gonna reach my arms back, palms facing down, head facing down, legs are stretched out. I'm gonna inhale, lift the whole body, including those arms, exhale lower. Inhale it, exhale lower. Now, as I lift and lower, remember your tailbone is tucked. Can you press that pubic bone into the mat a little bit more? Can you pull your abs up a little bit more? Can you lengthen your neck a little bit more? Can we get those shoulders away from the ears? Good, and remember, at no point should your knees be touching the mat, okay? Even as you lower, you're not lowering all the way down. Let's go for three. Think of length, not height. Two. Last one, hold it here. I'm actually going to shift my body to the side. If you have room, let's go ahead and open those arms out to the side and close. Out to the side and close. And let's continue. Now, when you close your arms, try to squeeze your arms even closer to your body as much as you can so that you really feel the muscles around the arms, specifically the triceps, really start to work here. Let's go for five. Keep those legs lifted. Last four, keep the pubic bone pressing down, keep the tailbone tucked. Three, two, one, and lower down. Nice, guys. All right, from here, press the hands underneath the shoulders and press the body away from, your, from the mat, <laughs> coming to quadruped position. And we're gonna hold this position for just a moment here. Now I'm going to go on to my fists because my wrists tend to get a little bit sensitive, not all the time, just sometimes, and then stretch those legs out into your plank. Now we're going to focus on breathing really deeply, pressing those heels back, tailbone is tucked, body is in line, one long line, and then shoulders are pressed back and shoulder blades are separated. From here, let's hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three two one lower those knees down separate them press the hips back inhale to prepare exhale slowly roll on up roll those shoulders up back and down thank you guys so much i hope you liked that class um, i know that this class was a little bit slower than what we normally go um, but I do also find that there's importance in slow and controlled movement uh, so that we can better prepare our body for faster, more intense work. Thanks, guys. Have a lovely day.